may we remind you that for the convenience of those patrons who prefer not to smoke, seating areas on the right-hand side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated. Clint Eastwood, hero for hire, blazes his way across a land of lust and injustice. Mr. Action himself. Well, I'll blow it to hell and gone with the train on it. Clint Eastwood has a fistful of dynamite and a handful of trouble. I've just about had a bellet full of this little jewelry, sir. I am listening to you. But I have my mind on my men. All you have on yours is money. They'd have to open the trap door if they had another prisoner. The French want me very badly. Why don't you turn me over and ask for a reward? You know what you're talking about. It's crazy, Sarah. The hell wants to see you dressed. The least you can do is take off your hat. I haven't got time for that. A movie that's crazy one moment, revolutionary the next. But always spectacular. One last swallow and it's up to you, Doc. Ready? <laughs> the most amazing adventure that ever set two rebels on fire. You better go. Bad time for war. Rough, ruthless, mercenary. Clint Eastwood declares war, and the Foreign Legion in Mexico never knows what hit them. To attack now would be suicide. But Clint is a one-man suicide squad. <laughs> the most exciting Clint Eastwood picture ever made. We don't get the gold. What gold? Proposition. Thought you might be interested in helping me out. Oh. I want you to set up a barrage for me. Yeah. If you whisper one word about the gold to these guys, I'm gonna have you bounce from this outfit so fast your feet won't even touch the ground. Okay, Kelly. What is it? I want the intelligence report for this whole sector, and I need them in the next two hours. That's nice. What's in it for me? It's behind enemy lines. I got three Shermans outside. His name's Oddball. A Sherman can give you a very nice edge. These are my boys. It's still up. <laughs> Look, baby, I'm kind of hung up. I need about 60 feet of bridge. Listen, kid, they haven't got your back in an upward again, have they? I don't need you. 60 feet of bridge I can pick up almost anywhere. Schmuck. All right, all right. I need at least 100 guys. Where do I find 100 men just like that? Loud call better show up, Kelly. Come on, let's move it up. But my hair is still in curls. Oh, shut up, get up. Rupture again with this thing. Hey, nobody said anything about slapping a 30 caliber machine gun all over the country. I'll make it $50 if you carry the machine gun, huh? Fire! Fire! I thought you said three Shermans. Those nuts have brought half the army with them. What is this? Oh, what is this, a ball game? Who are these guys? My friends, okay? And who's that bunch of refugees over there? The band. The band? What are we 
Just a private enterprise operation. Those freaks! That ain't an army, it's a circus! It could be the perfect crime. attack on Pearl Harbor, as told from both the United States and Japanese sides. Once two nations made war, today they have collaborated to make a motion picture of unequaled magnitude and importance, recreating the actual events leading up to the day that changed the course of history. Cora, Cora, Cora! Torah, 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 an unprecedented film, bringing you answers to one of the most controversial mysteries of our age. How could the attack on Pearl Harbor have happened? Colonel, sir, if we do spot something, what do we do? Report it to headquarters, damn it. How, sir? We haven't got a telephone, sir. There's a gasoline station about a mile down the road. They must have a phone. Why was one nation unprepared while another was geared for war? Why did the plan for the sneak attack split the Japanese high command wide open? The should have stayed in San Diego where it belongs. I made the mistake of pointing that out to Roosevelt. Why was Admiral Yamamoto marked for assassination by the Japanese warlords? Does anybody trust anybody anymore? Why was the President of the United States office considered a security risk? How did the Japanese rehearse their doomsday attack on Pearl Harbor? Damn it, why can't Washington give us the full inside story? Why did they keep the American command in the dark? What part was played by the strange Japanese officer they called Gandhi? How did U.S. intelligence know of the attack before the Japanese ambassador did? What was the fateful blunder made by Admiral Nagumo? How was a mighty Japanese task force able to race 4,000 miles across the Pacific undetected? What caused the notorious radar error? Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Here's a message to the commanding general of Fort Shafter. Uh, is it marked urgent? No. Why was Washington's last urgent warning sent by ordinary telegram? The sun came up, the bombs came down, and the world came apart. For the first time, a motion picture tells what really happened at Pearl Harbor. of Sherlock Holmes. Dr. Watson in his lifetime recorded some 60 cases demonstrating the singular gift of his friend Sherlock Holmes. But there were other adventures which for reasons of discretion were withheld from the public. 
adventures which involve matters of a delicate and sometimes scandalous nature. The private life of Sherlock Holmes was anything but elementary. My dear Sherlock, there are certain affairs that do not come within the province of the private detective. The public has a right to know these things. Sherlock Holmes was a man of curious habits. And not always what he seemed to be. You have described me as six foot four, whereas I'm barely six foot one. Madame says you are shorter than she thought. Oh, I didn't mean to be. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. But there have been women in your life. I thought I would never find you. It's been such a long time. I found her body quite rewarding, especially the palm of her right hand. Midget. What is it indeed that feeds on canary birds and sulfuric acid and has an engine for a heart? Open that door. <laughs> Sherlock, when I said drop this case, it was not merely a suggestion, it was an order. By whose authority? By the authority of Her Majesty's government. <laughs> Holmes, you better take this with you. Your client isn't Madame Valador. It's the Imperial German government. Holmes, I saw it. The monster. It's getting closer and closer. It took a genius to cover up Sherlock Holmes' vices, blunders, and bizarre tastes. Sherlock Holmes was a genius. The private life of Sherlock Holmes was anything but elementary. And now over to number 10 for a statement on the news that you've all been waiting for. My colleagues and I have decided that in the interests of crime prevention, you should consult the Dawson Security Group. They can supply armored vehicles, mobile patrols, and security staff of every description.
baby sham. I'd love a baby sham. There's a world of magic in a glass of baby sham. A world of magic. Clean says whiteness. McLean says whiteness a hundred times a day. That's how many times you smile. McLean's toothpaste. McLean says whiteness. You've only yourself to blame. You blundered. You got them curious the moment you left home. Too conspicuous, too easy to pick out of the crowd. Disguise was useless. You had the formula and they knew. Oh yes, they knew. The wool mark from Holmes. Set you up right away as a target for them. How could they possibly miss the horns mark in wool? The wool horn mark, the, the, the wool mark from Horns. How confused you were. Oh yes, you felt warm, comfortable, secure. Your cover was faultless. And then they started to close in on you. Yes, you, you poor blind fool. Somebody had got your measure. Somebody had sized you up. You better admit it, my friend. Now you're facing the consequences. Now you're expendable. like the guard, and the filter cigarette named after them is second to none. The feel, the size, the taste of quality. Guard, four and three for quality. the way. Pass it along and help others to enjoy. Lion's Made Ice Cream. Butter Kissed. Kiora Sun Crush. Sun Pat Nuts. And in the foyer, you can obtain leading brands of cigarettes and confectionery. Master Mays meets Blondie Butter, wham, it's Butter Kissed. Butter Kissed, on sale now.
a train that takes you deep into the Yorkshire countryside. A family that takes you right inside their home. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Lanky. The three chimneys, just near the railway. Where only mother and the three children came to live. And father's sudden disappearance was both a secret and a mystery. Bobby, I knew you said we weren't to ask any questions. Daddy isn't, isn't dead, is he? The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt has been a bedside companion for millions all over the world. Now, the story and the people are here to enchant us on our big, colourful screens. I am the Red Ruth and Ready Master, Peter. I have a good old night, you know. Yes, Ruth. Go on. Dinah Sheridan, a lady who has grown lovelier with the years as mother. Now listen, it's quite true that we're poor, but we shall have enough to live on just so long as I have ideas for stories. But you mustn't go about telling people of our affairs. It isn't right. And you must never, never, never ask strangers to give you things. Isn't she marvellous when she's angry? The Waterbury children, Bobby, the eldest, Phyllis, who means well, Peter, who wants to be an engineer. Watch the birdie. Jenny Agata as Bobby. Christened Roberta. Lanky for short. Yeah, one I must have, and no offence, I know on a day like this. To know her look. is to love her. <laughs> Mr. Perks, the railway porter. Right on time. And Mr. Bernard Cribbins shows you why this proud and generous gentleman is everyone's friend. I just came to say I was sorry to hear you, my mum, I'm so well, and to ask how she finds herself this evening. Oh, and I've, uh, I've brought her a bit of sweet briar there. It's very sweet to smell, that is. Very beautiful and wonderful things do happen, don't they? And we live most of our lives in the hope of them. Well, that hope is realised here in the wonderful, beautiful, and exciting adventures of the railway children. Look at that tree over there! Oh, it's moving. Hey, the 11.29 hasn't got by yet. Must let them know at the station there'll be an accident. They won't see us. It's all no good. Make it a family outing for this wonderful family entertainment.